But Matt Salami's got some breaking news update on this manhunt. Matt. Hey, Sheldon, I showed you the uh, officers marching through that large field. Now you can see there is a person with their hands up approaching the uh, area where the officers are. They're a few feet away. They all have their guns trained on this person. They just had him lift up his sweatshirt and show him his waistband. He's got his hands locked above his head right now. It we'll, uh, looks like they may have this suspect in custody here in this manhunt here along the uh, Delafield area. You can see as the uh, officers kind of uh, swarm around him, they're still keeping their distance. want to make sure that he still doesn't have his firearm. I'm assuming they'll make him lay down here with his hands on his head momentarily, but for right now, he's been showing them his waistband and uh, keeping his hands above his head as he walks out of the area here in this, again, large field. I'm going to widen out once just for a moment to show you where it is in relation to the uh, Holiday Inn. It's right there, just across the freeway. He's in a large field off of a shopping center, and uh, right now, he is slowly marching with his hands up. It looks like he's wearing khaki pants and... Uh, uh, a sweatshirt. Uh, we were told he was about six feet, 215. This could be the suspect here. It's coming uh, out and surrendering. Keep your shot and there up he right goes, now. lying down with his hands out. Now here they go, moving in slowly. We're going to watch him take him into custody. Looks like this is going to end with a peaceful uh, surrender. Now he's putting his arms behind his back here as the officers move in to get the cuffs on him. And they do have him, they do have a person in custody now here in Delafield. Okay, Matt, we're going to keep your shot up. Uh, if anyone is just joining us, uh, there is somebody being taken into custody in the manhunt that had Waukesha County shut down uh, all morning long uh, connected to the shooting of two police officers. We are still working to find out exactly who this person is and how they might be connected to that case. But uh, the person that is on the ground right now that you're looking at, that person walked over to authorities with their hands up. As Matt showed us, that person was pointing and showing their waistband uh, and keeping their hands up. The police officers told us earlier that the suspect was wearing khaki pants. Again, we're still working to find out if this is the suspect uh, in the manhunt. Uh, Matt, if you can just, uh, we want to keep the shot up, but if you could just explain again um, where exactly this is, because so many different schools and neighborhoods have been on high alert since overnight. I mean, these alerts went out at, what, 3 o'clock this morning. So we'll keep the shot up, but I'm just, if you can just narrate and tell us where this is. All right, so as we've been watching them search this area here in Delafield, they've uh, searched up and down the side of the freeway and then they decided that the suspect wasn't in the immediate area so they kind of just sh a short while ago started spreading out their search and uh, they went off to a giant field right next to a, a, a shopping center i think it was a home depot um, at any rate there was sheds in the parking lot and now you can see the shortly after we did that report right at the top of the hour we noticed that they got down on their knees and had their guns pointed so i widened out and uh, there was somebody walking out from uh, this area here, right where you can see that is this tree line here over by these houses. And that's where he came walking up from. He had his hands up. And then uh, as I alerted the newsroom that it looked like somebody was surrendering, they had him lift up his sweatshirt and show his waistband to make sure that he wasn't holding the, uh, whatever gun he had earlier. If he did have the gun on him still, they wanted to make sure. Now you can see they're going through his pockets, took his shoes off, making sure that he doesn't have a weapon on him. It looks like they do have him secured now with uh, cuffs behind his back. But uh, right now, they have a person in custody. And again, as they described, he was wearing khaki pants and a sweatshirt. And now you can see that is exactly what the person who walked up with his hands up was wearing, khaki pants and a sweatshirt. And Matt, do the uh, authorities that are responding right now, do they have weapons with them as they are uh, patting down the suspect and checking him out? Yeah, as he approached, they all had their guns trained on him. They all had what looked like M16s trained on the suspect as he watched. I'm widening out there. They took his pants off, so I don't want anything uh, getting out on the air with that. So, yes, they had their guns trained on him, and as he laid down on the ground, a couple officers went up and started cuffing him while the rest of them held their guns on the suspect as well. He was, he was in this area of tall grass is what it looked like he started walking out from as they approached he probably realized that he was caught and started slowly walking uh, towards the officers here and surrendered got down on his stomach with his hands spread wide and then he put both hands behind his back as they approached and they cuffed him uh, it looked like a, a peaceful surrender now they're just going over uh, going through his pockets again and uh, looked like they took his shoes off took his pants off and they're going through the suspect's belongings to see if they can find any of the evidence they might need.
And Matt, um, an earlier show that you showed us when you pulled out a little bit, uh, it looked like there was a subdivision or a residential community uh, not too far away from where this is all happening. If you had to estimate, how far would you say some of these houses that we're seeing are in connection to where this uh, situation is going down? less than a football field distance from from these homes right here you can see now though that cul-de-sac there is just flooded with cops as they've now all converged on this scene here they've got another armored vehicle here and dozens of other uh officers in their tactical gear have all showed up on the scene in that cul-de-sac so i would for an armed dangerous uh, fugitive it looks like they're going to bring him back in and put him in a squad car here Okay. Again, for any of our viewers who are just joining us, uh, we're following a situation, uh, a manhunt that's been underway since uh, very early this morning. You may have gotten the alerts on your phone after uh, two police officers were shot in Delafield. Uh, we're looking right now at a live image in uh, Delafield of someone uh, being taken into custody by authorities there. Matt, if you can just explain for again uh, an exact location, where exactly is this? Uh, is it still in Delafield or is it in a neighboring area? I believe it is still Delafield. I'm going to widen out once for you here, and I'll show you. This is the, I believe this is the Home Depot parking lot uh, right along the frontage road here in Delafield. Yes, it is the Home Depot lot. That's where they were all gathered when we uh, first arrived at this part of the search. They worked their way up and down the freeway, uh, going through the heavily wooded area here along the side of the freeway. This is very densely wooded area here. They went through this, they reached the Home Depot parking lot, and they started branching south through this large field. That's when I saw the officers drop down to their knees and start aiming their guns. And as I widened out then, I saw that they had a suspect approaching them with his hands up. And he generally matched the description, khaki pants and a sweatshirt. He walked up about maybe 50 feet from, these, from the, the taller bit of grass here. And uh, then the, he laid down on his stomach. And it looks like uh, he took this, uh, the suspect is now being led back to a squad car here in the, in the subdivision. Okay, Matt, thank you so much for providing this exclusive look of that person being taken into custody right now. Uh, we're hoping to find out more on exactly who this person is. And for that, uh, we know that the police chief is standing by right now. Uh, and we believe Hannah Hilliard is uh, with him right now. Hannah. Where they are right now with whoever this is, is probably half three quarters of a mile south and east from the scene of the incident. So from here, two and a half, almost three miles from here. How did you spot him? Uh, he was called in by a resident. And where was he at in a field? Uh, yeah, there's some vacant land down in that area that's cleared. Was and there any struggle or any, can you tell? It doesn't sound like it at this point, but once again, I'm just getting bits and pieces over the radio. Does and the how suspect far? still have a gun? Don't know yet. Can you just go through, we're not sure this is the person, but there's someone in custody, can you go through that again? Okay. Uh, subject matching our suspect's description was called in in a vacant land area in the far southeast corner of the city of Delafield. Assets have responded. They've found the person and they've taken him into custody. Now I can't say for sure this is the suspect yet. Okay, it is the suspect. Uh, he's in custody in our custody at this point. As far as whether he's still armed, I don't know. It doesn't, I think if uh, shots were still being exchanged, uh, that I would be hearing on the radio. So my understanding, my implication at this time is that he was taken into custody without any uh, use of force. Can you tell us how your officer got? Uh, I can tell you the Delafield officer, um, he was taken out of uh, trauma care a short while ago. Well, now it's been a while ago. Um, you know, he's as well as can be expected. Uh, he's, he's talking, he's with his family and a number of our officers um, and our support staff. So. Can you tell us where they were shot? Or... That I'm still holding off until we can, you know, once we can name both of the officers, I get to talk to the chief from Heartland, we coordinate that, then we'll we'll disclose all that. Can you explain, like, was, a, was it a tip call, or how did you guys get out there? Were you in the area and somebody pointed it out to police? We're all over the place, not Delafield, but cops are everywhere in the city and the area right now. This came in as a resident uh, who saw somebody suspicious, in an area where there wouldn't normally be many people at this time of day, uh, really any time of day, uh, called it into the dispatch center. Dispatch sent some squads 
Uh, they made con eye contact, and then we called in some tactical unit to. You said uh, how homeless. far away from the hotel was he found? Three quarters of a mile. Okay. Could you go back through and say just what do you think of the resident who did this? I mean, I think a lot of people have made, have made calls today. Yeah, uh, we appreciate any of the tips. I mean, when you're searching for a needle in a haystack, especially as light comes up, becomes day, people are moving around. It gets that much harder, you know. We appreciate all the tips. This one, yeah, I want, I want this guy. I want him in custody. I want him to face justice for what he's done to. And that I can tell the community it's safe. Uh, who, uh, what law enforcement agencies actually made the arrest? Was it Delafield police officers that made the arrest or sheriff's deputies or? That I can't tell you for sure. I know we had two units en route to the area and they were in the area when the call came in. Whether they were the ones who actually took them into custody, I can't tell you right now. So what about the other two? What about the other? Uh, I have not. I believe the the units that are actually conducting investigations. Um, so the Waukesha County Sheriff's Detective Bureau, our detective, I believe they have been, but I can't guarantee. Chief, what about the other two suspects that were uh, in that car? I guess what's their connection, and are they currently being interviewed? Or They're what? being interviewed. They're at the Sheriff's Department. Um, as far as the connection, I don't know exactly. Did they travel with the suspect? I don't or? know exactly. At this time, there's, you know, I'm here. That's all going on elsewhere. I, I, I know what I can hear. Um, the captain was just calling me from the command post, so I imagine I have to call him back and get some details from him. But, What's the uh, next step uh, now that uh, the suspect's been arrested? Will they be taken to Delafield, to Waukesha County? He'll be taken to Waukesha County. Uh, Do you know much about his background or what happened in North Dakota? Can you talk about that at all? Just what I've read in the, the news, that uh, he's a suspect in an attempted homicide in, in North Dakota, Fargo. Um, beyond that, no. Um, obviously, dangerous fella. Uh, it's good to have him off the streets. It's nice to be able to tell our residents they can go about their lives um, and we can do our job here. Um, the Waukesha County Sheriff is going to handle the officer-involved shooting investigation. They've been doing that for hours now. Um, you know, we're, we're, uh, we have plenty of resources still helping us so that we can get this re resolved. Was you know, there a total of how many people are that I don't in custody? Know. There would be three in custody at this time, two almost immediately, and now the, the shooter. Do you know anything more about the other two that were in custody this morning? Nothing. No. Not age or residence. I don't know male, female, sex, anything. And no. no charges on those two this morning? Yet? I think that's still to be determined. Do you know if the suspect was moving? When he, like, was he actively fleeing, trying to get away yet, or was he like hiding out somewhere? Based on the, it sounded like he was hiding. Did he have any injuries? Uh, that I don't know. Were they staying at the hotel, or were they just coming off the freeway looking for somebody to? I don't know yet. Um, that's all part of the investigation. Once again, I'm not there doing that. I I don't know for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Chief. All right, if you're just joining us, we uh, just got an update from uh, police in Delafield about uh, a manhunt. Uh, a suspect is in custody and connected to the shooting of two police officers early this morning in Delafield. Uh, we want to check back in with Hannah Hilliard. Hannah, you just got uh, that update from authorities. Uh, what more can you tell us? That mic on? Yeah, so we know that. Hold on, I think my mic's not on. Let me turn it on for you. Okay, so you can hear me. Yeah, we just heard from the chief there that um, here in Delafield that this suspect, Nathaniel Benton, is now in custody, that a resident called in a, a tip and they found him in a, in a south, southeastern part of town here, about three or so miles from where we are right now, uh, off of Highway 83 at a, a church parking lot. So it's about three or so miles from where we are right now. We know he ran away on foot. How exactly he got to this location is unclear right now, but he is now in custody. It's sounds like he, he surrendered peacefully to these officers, but it was a resident who called this in, said they spotted something suspicious, spotted uh, Benton after uh, his his photo has honestly been plastered all over the place here in the area, and, and they spotted it, called it in, and then the officers were able to uh, get him to surrender and take him into custody. And uh, Hannah, he's not the only person who's in custody at this hour uh, from what we heard just now. 
Right, Sheldon, so you have two other people in custody right now. That all actually happened early this morning as this situation unfolded. So there were three people in total that the police officers approached at that holiday and parking lot this morning. Uh, two of them that were not involved in the shooting, uh, they were, were separate from that, but they were with Benton at the time, and uh, they were taken into custody early this morning immediately following that shooting. Uh, so it, it's two separate. Uh, they, they haven't announced any charges for those two uh, other people or anything like that at this time. But yes, as, as a total, three people right now are in custody. Okay, Hannah, thanks so much. We know that those people are being interviewed. Uh, as for the main suspect, the person who triggered this manhunt uh, and allegedly shot these two police officers, authorities telling uh, reporters just now that that person is connected to an attempted okay. homicide in Fargo, North Dakota. So not only did this person allegedly shoot two police officers in our area, they are wanted in connection with an attempted homicide in Fargo, North Dakota. That person in custody at this hour, police confirming that the person who triggered this manhunt this morning is in custody at this hour. You're looking at video from News Chopper 12 of that uh, surrender. Uh, let's check in with Matt Salemi again to give us uh, what's happening right now. Hey, Sheldon, they're pouring over the area where the uh, suspects surrendered right now. They've got three dogs and a handful of officers. When we first spotted the suspect, uh, he looked like he was walking out of the reeds here, in, about in this area here. He walked up towards the officers and uh, laid down on his stomach after showing him his waistband. Uh, they've now taken him and they put him into a uh, sheriff's SUV uh, here in one of the driveways of the neighborhood. And th that is the area, that's the SUV that they had him in. It looks like they might have uh, taken him out to refrisk him. And yeah, th that's what they're doing right now. They've got the suspect up against the back of the car and it looks like they're going through his pockets once again. Um, they do have him in custody. Uh, not very far from where all of this went down. I'm going to widen back out and show you. You can see the neighborhood right there. And then the shooting actually took place right here across the street from I-94. And they are still in the process of uh, going over that crime scene. You can see they're still picking up evidence, picking up shell casings, and there are a lot of them. They went through this backpack here that's sitting right in that uh, handicapped parking spot as well. So the good news is the suspect is in custody and uh, no other officers were injured and the investigation is ongoing. Glad to hear that this person is in custody and all those evidence markers that Matt just showed us. Uh, uh, just the evidence that's left behind and the proof of the exchange of gunfire that happened between that suspect and the two officers who were injured earlier this morning. We know that they are still in the hospital.